The only time you are the greatest ever is when you die. Charlotte Daly of Mel Sport Boxing. I'm joined by Derek Chisora. How are you doing? Bonjour, bonjour, ça va? Salam alaikum, how are you? Yeah, not bad, not bad. I'm going to jump straight to it and yes. ask for your prediction for Saturday night, Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk. How are you seeing it play out? I see the British man winning it. In what way? How? Don't know, but he's going to win it. Yeah? A yeah. win's a win. <laughs> a win's a win, don't matter. Winning by penalty or winning by, uh, by on goal is winning. Yeah. Take it nonetheless. We take that three points easy. <laughs> in terms of um, Tyson Fury in particular, I want to know what it's like to be on the receiving end of one of his jabs because everyone talks about it as this weapon and something that can win him fights. But as somebody who's experienced it, I kind of want to get some first-hand knowledge of what it's like. Uh, listen, uh, I think the most in boxing is the front hand, which is, counts more the double jab than the jab. Um, even Alexander's jab is very good as well. He puts it up, up and down, ties and the same thing. It's very important. Whoever gets his jab going for the first three rounds wins the fight. Mm -hmm. We saw with Usyk against Anthony Joshua that he was able to kind of negate the jab a little bit. Do you think he'll be able to do the same against Tyson? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I think he's going to work his jab more than this time. Mm, really? really? Yeah. In terms of Usyk, He's obviously got great feet and everyone talks about his speed and, and things like that. How, how good is it and how much does he make you think when you're in the ring? I don't think he's going to move a lot this time, this fight, Usyk. I don't believe so. I believe he's going to try and sit down and try and knock Tyson out. You think he's going to try and knock him out? Yeah, I, that's what I believe. Do you think he's got the capability to do that, the power to do that? I think he's going to get the power to do that. He's going to try. Yeah. Do you think that comes from the kind of added weight? Because we went to see him in camp actually, and he looked noticeably kind of fuller in the arms and the legs. Do you think that that is the that game was plan? then? Yeah. If you look at him now, he's not the same, is he? Mm -hmm. If you looked at him since, yeah, yeah. Does he look the same? I think he look. I think he looks strong. I think he looks like he could be quite powerful. He's powerful, but he's not the same as you saw him a couple of weeks ago when you went to see him mm -hmm. in uh, was it Poland or? No, Spain. In Spain, yeah, he's not the same. Like This was like five weeks ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. In terms of his ring IQ then, how does he compare to all the other fighters that you had faced? He's, he's got the best ring IQ out of all the fighters. Do you think better than Tyson Fury? Yeah. Really? Yeah. In what way? What, what Cause, do you think? Because uh, you don't win a gold. They don't hand gold medalists out. You win a gold medalist because of IQ and move around. And you dominate uh, the, 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 the cruiserweight because of your IQ and then you win the Muhammad Ali trophy because of your IQ yeah. and then you come in the heavyweight game and you win all the fights you're given in the heavyweight game because of your IQ so it's a you can't compare the IQ you understand because he's you know Tyson's been boxing since he was a kid you understand yeah but it's all about who's got more silverware yeah. Uh, he's got on the truth. If Tyson Fury wins on Saturday when night... Tyson Fury is going to win. That's not if okay. he's going to win. That's it. When Tyson Fury wins on Saturday yeah. night, is he going to be the best in history? Yes. He thinks he is. Well, in history, I would say... Uh, how can I put it? Somebody say this, and I had this when he said... The only time you are the greatest ever is when you die. Do you understand? Um, you don't get recognized right now. It's when you get, you only get recognized once you're gone mm -hmm. and they look at all your achievements and I'm like, you know what? He was a great man. Do you understand? Yeah. You know, right now, Floyd Mayweather is not the greatest man. But when he goes, we're going to say, wow, he was. And they'll make a film about him. You know, yeah. they made a film about the hurricane, you know, but he was alive still, but because of what all the trauma he went through, mm. you know, when Tyson wins this fight, yeah, he's going to be the great, greatest fighter. Yeah. But you'll be his recognition will be after when he's gone. Yeah. That's the only time we get recognized when we are gone. Not when we are alive. It's people a shame, don't, isn't it? Huh? It's a shame. It's a shame because people don't post about you, of your achievements, what you're doing. They're posting for you when you die. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Let's be honest. On your birthday, people say, "Oh, happy birthday!" But when you die, everybody wants to pose, wish you all. Oh, you was a great person, but they don't do it when you're alive. Mm. Don't understand why.